out to today is those who serve. When you watch a documentary on World War II or the Vietnam War, you may not realize there were actual people behind the cameras who captured those battle scenes, risking their lives to document history. They were called combat photographers. We recently caught up with a combat veteran about what it was like to serve in that dangerous role. Here's Team 12's William Pitts. Traditionally, the combat cameraman lives in constant danger. Since World War I, combat photographers have been used to document the wars for a number of reasons. As a source of intelligence, training, news, and historical record. This is a camera that I used in Vietnam. Daniel Boogie Boliu was one of those men. It was so sunny over there, it had pretty much one f-stop and one speed. <laughs> he originally signed up to be a lab tech, but the Army had other plans. They gave me a camera, they didn't have enough photographers and told me to get on that helicopter. And he was in the thick of it. This was a uh, grenade that almost bought my life. It was a dangerous job. Boogie had to keep one eye on the viewfinder and one eye out for danger, often relying on his platoon to watch his back. All I carried over there was a 45. Not only that, uh, I didn't wear a helmet because it interfered with taking pictures. Boogie documented the horrors of war that still haunts him to this day. Looking through the lens gives this him flashbacks. I, I don't pick up a camera anymore. Uh, it's too difficult for me. After serving his country, Boogie became a barber. Many of his clients are veterans. I grew up loving my country. And I believe that you have a duty to serve your country. William Pitts, 12 News.